Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing kind of an all over the place haul. So I've purchased a few things over the last week to two weeks and I wanted to share those with you. Some are makeup related, some are not. And then I couldn't remember if I had showed you something I had bought, two things that I bought a while ago because I didn't file them away like I would have had I already showed you. So I'm gonna start with the two that I may have already showed you and then I'm gonna put them where they need to go so that I won't forget. But I'm gonna go with Storybook Cosmetics. I've used several of their books that they have put out and they also have some brushes. So I really liked this brush set here. It does look like it is arrows and I think I have shared this one before. I'm not quite sure. But now that I am showing you the different brushes, I'm going to put those away in my little collector bit. So I have been collecting some interesting brushes just because they're neat and different and I'm just having fun with a collector's item. The other brushes I got from Storybook Cosmetics is from the Garden, dang it, Secret Garden Collection. So in each of the handles of these brushes, it's got some pretty different leaves and flowers, etc. So if I've already showed you these, I'm sorry, I'm showing you again, but now I promise to put them in the right spot so that I don't keep showing you these things over and over again. I'm trying to get organized and that's just not my favorite subject. I almost do better in organized chaos. I don't understand why, but if I put stuff away, I can't find it. It's, it's just who I am just who I am. So, all joking aside, um, I did pick up some, a couple items from the MAC Christmas collection this year. And so I got these four little items I wanted to show you. I've got two of the lipsticks and this one, I love how they make things where you can't read them. This one is called I'm Glistening, which I really liked this kind of purpley mauve, but then yet it's got a satin kind of color to it. Very, very interesting. So I'm looking forward to trying that because you don't see a whole lot of that color, but it also isn't something that's going to brighten your face. It's probably going it, to, it, it's going to be an interesting one. So we'll see what kind of look I come up with that one. Then we have the Holiday Crush. Now this is a beautiful color here. I'm totally excited about this one. If it looks good on my skin tone, I have a feeling this is gonna go everywhere with me because it is just stunning. Some of their other colors were already sold out, so those were the two I was able to grab. Now I've got this little bag. Tell me that that is not adorable. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the bag because it's little, but it's adorable. And inside comes these three pigments. And I think all three of these are good for both fall and winter because it's got kind of the colors that can be fall but carry over because of the sparkle into winter, which I absolutely love. So this Whisper Pink is stunning. Then you have this Copper, which I love the color of coppers and browns. But this purple color, actually it's called Pink. Um, it's a purplish pink color, a magenta maybe. That one's gonna be fun to use also. That, I'm trying to debate between this one and this one for Thanksgiving. I'm not sure yet, but we shall see. Then in this little bad boy, again, kind of a cute little bag, have no clue what I'm gonna use them for, maybe a change purse, comes three little mini Macs. And I love how cute these are. So I really, really enjoy the, the makeup companies that are coming out with the minis. I rarely go through one whole lipstick before I'm on to another color, but the minis just do a much better job because you can use them and when you, you can use them all the way through. So that's what I love about that one. This one is called Boca. It is under their satin collection. And again, just a really nice nude, but a little bit darker nude color. Then we have Kinda Sexy. Let's see what color Kinda Sexy is. Okay, not exactly what I would have thought of for Kinda Sexy, hmm. But a nice, again, neutral. I guess it's Kinda Neutral, which makes it Kinda Sexy. Who knows? 
So whoever named that one really missed the mark there. Then we have Cocktail Kiss, which is the last little mini that I got. And that really is a dark color. I think this will be fantastic for winter, maybe going into a New Year's look. So that, that's really nice. And again, I just like the neutrals. I think it, they ground your look for your, your, the look that you're putting together. A nice neutral lip is always the way to go if you can't figure out what color you should put on. Now let's talk about what the internet got me to purchase. Mm-hmm, don't be laughing. So I keep seeing wave shapers on Instagram and I like how it kind of makes the people look. And so I actually got suckered into these because of Instagram. Now I just have to hope that they work. So I got this midweek last week. I wanted to shoot the haul video before I pulled them out and used them. So you may hear about this later on. Then, White House Black Market was having a sale and I was able to pick up a pair of their pants, which I love these work pants and they have some great detail at the ankle. These were either $24.99 or $25.99, which for White House Black Market is a steal because these pants normally go for $89.99. Very excited about that purchase. Okay, so I'm a Chiefs fan, and when I film this, the Chiefs are going to be playing Dallas. I am now in Dallas. I am not giving up my Chiefs, I don't care what, for no Dallas Cowgirls. Well, we do go to a spot that has a Chiefs, it's kind of like a bar and grill, and they do only show the Chiefs games, so I will be wearing this shortly, which I thought was absolutely cute. This came on eBay, so I've been bargain shopping there, and then I'm cracking up because to complete my Crazy Chiefs outfit for today's game, I do have some little crazy leggings. So I'm going to look like the ultimate Chiefs fan, maybe a little crazy, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so one of my newest favorite youtubers to watch is called my thrifted life i adore her i believe she is in australia she's got the cutest dang little accent but i've really enjoyed watching some of her videos and she found these purses on ally express so they're not really louis vuitton purses but they're beautiful knockoff so let me show you these three babies so i got one of the knockoffs in red which I thought was beautiful. They do have the bottoms with the metal detailing. And I just love the front of these. You can look inside. It does have a way to zip it. And let me take out the inside because they do wrap these very well. And inside it is pretty roomy and they also give you the attachment so if you don't want to have a clutch that you're holding like this you can actually put the strap on with winter excuse me with it being football season red is one of my colors and the holidays also scream for red I'm actually trying to debate between this one and this black one for my first giveaway it, it's a struggle, it's a struggle. But I did get this one in a black. This black has more of a textured front. Again, it's got these really nice metal bits and when they pack them, they do cover the metal bits so that you don't, they, they come in great shape with no scratches. So thank you my thrifted life for giving me um, your, your kind of tip to go on Ally Express and pick these up. And then I also got it in this blue, and this blue is kind of almost like a, let me take it out of the bag, that might. This might pick up the detail better in the camera. So it's almost got kind of a little bit of a waffle look to it, and I really like this blue periwinkle with a hint of purple, so I thought this would be great for spring. 
So this handle is like this. It's a little bit different than the last ones that I got, but again, has plenty of room and they feel really sturdy. They don't feel cheap. So for a knockoff, totally excited about that. I mentioned in my last haul video that I had seen Amber Shoals find some Louis Vuitton, not Louis Vuitton, maybe it's Valentino, knockoff shoes, and that was on Amazon. So I picked them up in black, and then I loved them so much that I went ahead and picked them up in this tannish color here with a slight blush tint. So very excited to have these as a knockoff. Um, I again want to say these were probably $29.99. And then flipping through, I wanted a closed toe shoe more for fall. And I thought this color was going to be beautiful. And then these kind of work your way up your cap. Again, closed to toe and just kind of a great fall color. So I picked those up because of Amber Shoals. Thank you, Amber Shoals, for showing me how you find knockoffs. So basically that was the end of my little thrifting slash little baby haul this week. And most of the items were not even makeup related. They were clothing related, which made it absolutely fun to try something different. I do appreciate the other YouTubers out there that will show where they get things and where they find things at a budget on a budget because who doesn't like to save some money? This girl does. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one.